Hi friends, I'm back with 5 minute Mickey Mouse stories and today's story is all about an adventure Mickey's rafting trick I hope you guys are as much excited as I am as we read through this story Alright, let me quickly set this up so that we can go rock and roll with the story all right, I think we're almost done. Then let's get started. Mickey's rafting trip. One sunny summer's day, Mickey, Minnie and Pluto had a dip into the woods. I can't wait to get to the river, Minnie said. Going white water rafting is such an adventure. Pluto barked in agreement. Bow! Well, you don't have to wait much longer, Mickey said, pointing through the trees. Look, there's the river. When they reached the water, Mickey inflated the raft while Pluto unpacked the horse. Minnie secured all their gear for the trip. And let me fix this page. Okay. Then, the three friends put on their helmets and climbed into the raft. The water was shallow and still. One, two, three, push! Mickey yelled. He and Minnie pushed away from the shore with their oars. Then they paddled through the calm water towards the rapids. When they reached the fast-moving water, Mickey and Minnie worked together to move the raft safely through the choppy waves. Paddle on the left, Minnie yelled to Mickey over the roaring river. Mickey moved his oar to the left side and pulled it hard through the water. The little raft veered around a rock. Pluto sat in the middle of the raft, watching the forest rush by and loving the ride. Are you excited for whitewater rafting? All right, let's see what happens next. The trio swished and bumped and sloshed their way down the river. Suddenly, Pluto stood and started barking. What is it, boy? Mickey asked. He and Minnie both looked into the direction that Pluto was barking. Oh, Mickey, look, there's a beer cup stuck on the rock, cried Minnie. Just ahead of them, a sopping wet bear cub stood shivering on a large rock in the middle of the river. He looked cold and scared. We have to help him, Minnie said, but the raft is headed away from him. Quick, Mickey said, paddle on the right. The two friends pulled their oars hard, turning the raft towards the little bear. Mickey jumped out and pulled the raft near the rock. Hi, little guy, he said, turning to the bear cub. How did you get stuck out here? Bears like to swim, Minnie said. Maybe this cub is too young to be a strong swimmer. And the current pulled him out here. Let's get him in the raft. We'll take him back to the shore to find him, his family, Mickey said. Nudging him gently, Mickey moved the bear cub towards the raft. The cub was nervous, but he seemed to trust his new friends. He stepped into the boat and sat down next to Pluto. All right, here we go, Mickey said as he stepped in. He and Minnie used their oars to push away from the rock and back into the rapids. Look for a good place to land on the shore, Minnie yelled to Mickey over the rushing water. The forest was thick along the river. Mickey and Minnie searched for a beach or another flat rock so that they could safely land the raft. They passed trees, bushes, and rocky cliffs as they sped through the waves. The raft bounced and plunged. The bear cub snuggled close to Pluto, hiding his face. I see a spot, Minnie said. There's a little beach just ahead. Soon, they were safely on the shore. 
The bear cub leaped from the raft. He jumped and rolled in the sand, then ran back and forth in front of Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto. He's probably the first bear ever to try whitewater rafting, Mickey said, laughing. <laughs> I don't think he liked it as much as we do. Look how happy he is to be back on land, Minnie said. Ah, what should we do now, Minnie asked. We can't just leave him here. We are so far down river from where he was found. What if he doesn't know how to get home? I suppose we can walk back through the woods to help him find his family, Mickey said. As long as you don't mind cutting our rafting trip short. The friends agreed that was a good plan and they packed up all their supplies. Mickey, Minnie, Pluto and the bear cub headed through the forest. Following the winding path of the river, they climbed rocks, jumped over fallen logs, and crossed through streams. Pluto and the cub ran ahead, chasing each other around the trees. They were having a good time. The sounds of the woods are so different from the roaring river, Minnie said. I can hear birds singing, crickets chirping, and the trickle of this little stream. It is so quiet and peaceful. Finally, the group reached a little clearing with a rocky cliff on one side. The bear cub ran toward a cave at the base of the cliff. Look, said Minnie, I think we found his family. A mama bear and two cubs ran out of the cave towards the little cub. The four licked and nuzzled one another happily. The little cub turned towards Mickey, Minnie and Pluto, they smiled and waved at him from the edge of the clearing. Good luck little guy, Mickey said. Be careful near the river, Minnie called. Pluto barked, goodbye, wow wow. And the three friends walked into the woods while the cub followed the family into the cave. I am glad we helped the little cub, Minnie said. He looked so happy to go home and be part of his family. I know we plan to spend the day whitewater rafting, Mickey said, but I think we ended up on an even greater adventure. Yes, Minnie said. Two adventures are definitely greater than one. That's the end of the story. As always, did you like the story? If you like the story, then you like it. You share it with all your friends and share it online. Hit the notification bell and subscribe. So next time when I read a story, you get to see and you get to know. So until next time, bye-bye.